Some fun voicings to explore are the suspended second and fourth chords. You simply take a major chord and you move the third interval back a whole step. This is a G sus2. You replace the third with a fourth if you want to make a sus4. This is a G sus4. Resolve to the third, you get a nice gospel resolve. This is a G sus2 with the G on top and a six in the bass, which is E. This is the same thing with A. Since these chords are suspended, which means the third is taken out, which means they aren't major or minor. You can explore where to use them over your major and minor chords. You can try an easy bluegrass tune. Salt Creek's one that I really like to use my uh, suspended chords on. You can also take your suspended chords and use this hammer-on Jimi Hendrix technique. This is also illustrated in the Boogie Woogie section in Earl Scruggs' famous Earl Scruggs and the Five String Banjo instructional book. This is just how it works on the bottom three strings. Now, one thing I haven't talked about yet is the difference in voicings between playing the middle three strings and the top three strings on each chord. There's a lot of difference there in any chord shape you play. It sounds like two different chords because it really is when you're playing it, it's two different voicings. Sometimes you can change the, the whole chord completely if you move to a different spot.
This two voicing way of looking at your fretboard and where you pick the strings can make for a piano style technique. It's a great way to practice the circle of fifths.